Hello Royaltons, good to see all of you here again, this is your regular dose of the royal news and analysis. But before we move on to the details, would really love to thank you all for the enormous love and support I am being showered with these days. And in case you all haven't subscribed, I mean, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Oh, and by the way, do press the bell icon. Okay, let's start the video in a cutesy display of mutual adulation, the Duchess of Sussex has heaped glowing praise on her husband for their visit to Nigeria. The couple, who have made a name for themselves in mental health and veterans, undertook a three-day visit to Nigeria upon Nigeria's chief of defense staff, Christopher Musa. So the thing is their Nigeria visit wasn't a show-off, it was the sort of visit allows one to experience the good sports is doing in the lives of the veterans, mainly through the Invictus Games. In addition thanks to the Archwell Foundation, the Wu's Lightway Academy Prince Harry talked to the students about being aware of mental health. Harry told the children to make a point to reach out to their friends and family members considering that people could be going through tough time in life that they won't be able to express to them. Meghan was deeply touched by his honesty, and she did not forget to openly praise about her wise man with a lot of experience. Do you see why I married him? Markle asked rhetorically. He's just so smart, you know? He's inspiring, and it's because he speaks the truth. Without a doubt, all Markle's praises made royal couples more different and a roadmap to share than ever before designed. It is a roadmap where everyone ought to be honest. And for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's royalty, generosity truly seems to be their way. By being in Nigeria, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continue their series of good actions, they continue to invest their time and experience in what matters to them most, they continue their legacy of compassion and advocacy, especially to the final tour of the focus on vets' mental health. The royals seem to be more involved in what matters most to most people. They show their efforts, and their aim to bring a positive impact to countries wherever their background served, Prince Harry in the United Kingdom and Meghan Markle in the United States. The fact that Nigeria welcomed them so well says it all. People have started to appreciate their work, which more than royal duties. They are dedicated to putting their fight against opponents who far nearly royals know. Markle, after calling on the students to be very, very open and honest, also urged them not to suffer from silence, as suffering silently did not help them determine their path to excellence. There's no need to suffer in silence. Just make sure that you are taking care of yourselves, she said data grid view text box column, in keeping with the couple's mental health campaign. Prince Harry also added to the gesture by verbally praising his wife. With her graceful hand, the Duchess wrote a note thanking the Invictus community and visitors to the beautiful host country for the reception she received in Nigeria. The prince followed in her footsteps, echoing his wife's message and thanking the people of Nigeria for their warm welcoming and committed support to the veterans. The collective letter from the couple embodies the virtue of compassion and empathy that they have consistently demonstrated in their philanthropic work. It may be formal, but the couple's interactions with the Nigerian people are a perfect example of how the principle of compassion and approach of seeing yourself in others can set a promising foundation. They were authentic sources of encouragement and optimism. For everyone they were in contact with, the couple were hopeful partners. This is one form of authentic compliment to others. Their approach to gender also has broader implications for how they are promoting other issues. The couple has played an important role in global awareness of mental health and the special challenges faced by veterans around the world. Their initiative has shown to the rest of humankind that we are stuck with each other and thus need to walk together. For undoubtedly as the couple now embarks on the new journey of philanthropy, their actions serve as a powerful demonstration of how empathy, understanding, and genuine care can dramatically develop any society. The commitment to the said causes represents a core belief in the power of positivity and significance of facing the worst conditions together. As the royal couple leaves Nigeria, 
they do not merely depart with a range of diplomatic gestures but also with the impression of compassion and unity. Their visit expresses that the world needs the impact of truth, compassion, and support for everyone's good. Their visitation to the various institutions represented the level of cultural exchange they have taken, visits to the environmental projects also shows that they have a good relationship guideline and take global issues seriously. The dedication to their intent of philanthropy and humanitarian issues is very demanding but also determinant for diplomacy in the future. What do you think of this news? Let me know what you think in the comments. We still need to see if it results in something powerful or not at all. Anyway, as always, don't miss any of my hot royal gossips like this. Subscribe and press the bell icon. So until next time, see you.